are also known as killer whales, but that name may not mean what you think. Orcas aren't whales at all. In fact, they're the largest dolphins in the world. The name killer whale goes back to a time when whaling was a more commonplace practice and whalers would call orcas killers of whales. This name changed over time to simply killer whales. The name has nothing to do with their classification, but it does hold some connection to what orcas eat. Orcas are top predators of the world's oceans. Some have even gone so far as to call them the wolves of the isn't entirely appropriate to describe what people want to portray as a vicious killer. Aside from fish, squids, octopuses, penguins, seals, sea lions, and many other food types, orcas will also kill and eat whales. However, their name precedes their disposition. In truth, orcas are intelligent, curious animals, and there has not been a single documented case of human death by an orca in the wild. Maybe they are wolves of the sea. And in fact, orcas do hunt in a way that is similar to their terrestrial counterparts. Orcas live in familial pods that can have more than 40 individuals. Each pod is unique and they all have different techniques for hunting. Some create waves to knock seals off ice floes. Some create ambush traps, and some even beach themselves to snag other mammals right off the shore. Hunting techniques are passed down from mother orcas to their babies. Orcas mate year-round, but the most active time for breeding is summer. A female orca will gestate for more than a year and will raise her baby diligently a year after birth, teaching it the ropes of life in the sea. Lady orcas live longest, and they may be able to reach almost 90 years of age. It has been said that orcas are second only to humans in terms of their global distribution. This seems pretty accurate because they live in every ocean and at pretty much every latitude, though they do seem to have a preference for cooler climates. They typically live in water anywhere from 65 to 200 feet deep, but they also dive nearly 1,000 feet down and can cruise along the surface. Orcas have to surface in order to breathe since they are mammals and require air. They also stay near the surface when they're half-sleeping. Yeah, half-sleeping. That's what we're calling it anyway. Orcas don't have subconscious breathing like we do when we sleep, so they have to have at least part of their brain awake and conscious while they sleep in order to breathe. Let's be honest, if I could sleep like an orca, I would probably be able to complete way more episodes of AFF. Sleeping this way helps orcas detect possible dangers as well. Even though they top the food chain, orcas have been known to kill rivaling pod members. They can also be attacked by sharks, and humans pose a large threat to orcas as well. Orcas are caught in fishing nets, hit by boats, caught for food, or other uses, so it helps they can keep one eye open while sleeping. Orcas are also impacted by environmental pollutants. Mammal-eating orcas are especially vulnerable to this as the fatty mammals they consume may have more toxins built up in their blubber. Heck, orcas even have their own breed of lice, though those might actually be helpful, as gross as they might seem. Humans have lived alongside orcas for a long time. Some cultures consider them to be symbols of health who bestow strength and food. Some see them as the form a warrior takes upon death.